Hey songwriters, welcome back to the songwriting studio. My name is Dean and in today's video we are going to look at how to use the vocal transformer plugin in GarageBand and Logic. This plugin is really easy to use and it can have a really big impact if you're producing pop music and you want to transform your vocal to feel more like a sampled vocal. So let's dive in. All right, so we're here inside of a project that I'm working on and I had this kind of interlude line and I wanted to use my voice almost like an instrument and that's where I found the vocal transformer plugin. And so I'll commonly sample vocals or chop vocals or do weird stuff to distort my vocals if I'm working on a pop type song. But in this one, I was just looking for something unique and I found the vocal transformer plugin and was super pumped because it was exactly what I was looking for. So let me hit play on it and then I'm gonna show you where this plugin lives and how to use it. So you get the idea of the sound. So let's go into this track. I'm gonna hit B on my typing keyboard to bring up the smart controls or the mixing window here in GarageBand. And I'm gonna go down here to my plugins and if you go to pitch, you'll see vocal transformer. So I'm gonna open this up by clicking on it. And you can see there's really two options. You could technically do some, um, some presets, which is fine. Um, but really I was just looking for mainly the formant change. So you could change the pitch, which would just be taking ah to uh. But what I'm using here is the formant change. So if you've never heard this term before formant, basically what it means is where you're singing it in the context of your vocal cords. Meaning uh, if I go up in pitch, it's gonna sound more uh, nasally like almost uh, chipmunkish, but then if I go down in, in the formant, it's gonna sound more throaty and almost guttural. So right now I have it pitched up to 10 and what I wanna do is just take it back down to the zero. So this is plain and this would be me singing it. I'm just going da 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 da. And so this is me singing it plain. I mean, I have some processing on it, but here's what it sounds like with no vocal transformer. But what I did was I pitched it up, or I, excuse me, I switched the formant up to 10, which gave this really cool, it almost sounds like a mix between a voice and an instrument like a trumpet or something like that. Which I really liked. Now I could take it way up and make it sound much more chipmunkish or much more instrument-like. technically I could go the opposite way if I wanted to make it more throaty and kind of low and gutter I could go to minus 10 which would sound like this or I could go way down and it would sound like so obviously you can see there's lots of different kinds of sounds. I just landed on the one that I felt like worked best and it was like this mix of a vocal and an instrument. It almost sounds like a sampled vocal to me. So I landed on plus 10. That fit like perfectly with the mood and the style of the song. Yours may call for something different. So. The next thing I wanna show you about this is how you can actually automate different settings for your vocal transformer. So I'm gonna back up to the verse here. And what I'm gonna do is hit A on my typing keyboard. So that brings up our automation lanes. And I'm gonna go ahead and add to this track. I'm gonna add the vocal transformer. So what I can do is I can go here to my automation lanes. You can pick a bunch of different things to change, but we're gonna go down to vocal transformer, hit formant, and now anytime I click in here, we're gonna be able to manually adjust some of these vocal transformer settings. And so what I wanna do is switch a th few things up. I wanna make one go low and guttural. I wanna make one kind of phase out to something high and squirrely or chipmunkish. So first let's listen and then I'm gonna make some changes and let you listen to it before and after. There's one thing I've desired of the Lord and I will see for oh, you. Yeah. I may dwell in the presence of my God all the days of my life. 
Alright, so here's what I want to do. I want to take this note right here that, oh yeah, and I want to create some points here that allow me to kind of single out that little phrase. And I'm going to go down, mm, let's go down 12 and see how that sounds. So that way it's like I don't have to change every little thing uh, or make tons of tracks, which you still can do and I do at times, but this is kind of a simple way to do it when you want it and when you don't. And then here at the end, I want to make it like do a crazy kind of build out there. So that would sound like. I may dwell in the presence of my God on the days of my life. So, I mean, I think I would work with that more, make it a little bit more tasteful, but basically you can do single notes and drop it in and drop it out, or you can kind of angle it in and create like weird effects over certain syllables like this. So there's, there's an endless... Uh, amount of options that you could do. I wouldn't do it like that. I might stick with a single phrase or like kind of jut out on one phrase, but that's it in a nutshell. It's really simple. If you're making pop music, I think this is a great tool for you. And so I hope that's helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions below. And beyond that, I just wanted to say, hey, what is the songwriting studio all about? Well, basically we are wanting to equip you to write and produce amazing music from home. And specifically, we wanna equip you to make music that is gonna have an impact on your listeners. So it goes beyond hookup, breakup, and makeup, and you start to write about the things that matter the most to you in life. We wanna get behind you and say, yes, like we wanna equip you to make amazing music that's gonna leave an impact on your generation. So. If that's you, if you're wanting to grow as a songwriter, as an artist and a producer, if you're wanting to uh, grow in your heart and the ability to communicate a message that matters, then welcome home, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll catch you in the next video.